Hello everybody, welcome to Brainless Chaos, game number 8, I believe this one is. A TV advantage, would you believe? Um, he can buy a wizard, however. How many players? He's got 13 players. Looks to be a little bit rowdy. He's got a dodge Ulf Werner, that's good. No skills in his yet, he's got a dirty player. He might buy a bribe then or something, eh? Guard Lino, what's his record looking like? 3-2-3, three, three, okay. Um, so... I'm not going to buy anything for this. Just hope the hope hope all the block stops there, stops these being banged on, and hopefully the mighty blow does some work. Right, I think it's game number eight. Is it? Is it? What's the what's the stats? Six one zero. Oh yeah, an actual TV advantage. Can you believe it, Jeff? Jimmy Grills just buys a bib. Doesn't put his own money in. Interesting. <laughs> if I'd gone mighty blow, imagine if I'd had four mighty blow against this team. Imagine if I had five mighty blow against this guy. Holy shit. Well, um, I wouldn't jinx it though, Will King, because of course I did have my Chaos team die to Skaven, taking nine casualties in one game, the previous the previous one. So, you know, it's not it's not guaranteed by any stretch, is it? They, they, these could just hammer me. I lost a thousand TV. A chaos team lost one thousand and twenty TV against Norse one time. Um, right, I'll just receive and batter him. Ah. Okay, I just received. Beat, beat the living shit out of him. He has got two. Is oh, waiting for a pawn all the time. Maybe it's just because he's in Russian. He's got a bad connection. Eh? Security gate. He's got. The, have I got the security gate? Has he got the security gate? I don't even know. Security gate's what I like to take. Feeling this is the one. Maybe, Shawnee, maybe. Fingers crossed, eh? It'd be nice. Yeah, I like to receive against Nars, even though, even though it's the worst when you don't beat the living shit out of them. You really should beat the living fuck out of them, shouldn't you? And every time you don't, you like, every block that you make that doesn't kill a Norseman, you're like, the fuck is this shit? Why aren't they all dead yet? Like... Literally every block, I'm disappointed when it's not a casualty because people deserve it. They deserve it for using a bash team that's armor 7. It's like they just deserve all of their players to die on every block because why are you making a bash team armor 7? It's, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, Shawnee. The implosion is always so near. But you're feeling this is the one. It's not racist, it's because, well, Russians aren't a race, of course. And uh, he is in Russia, isn't he? Because all his names are Russian. Probably. Probably, he's probably Russian. Though someone said they changed the default language to Russian so they could have Russian names. Get to blitz this guy. The thing is, I always want to blitz this guy, you know, because he's good. But then he's got to jump up, so blitzing him isn't as good as blitzing somebody else, is it? Um, oh God, all this block. Block, glorious block. Not as glorious as Mighty Blow, though, is it? Well, maybe it is. Does he have runners? I misclicked. No, he doesn't have runners, so the strength 4 ball carry is going to be a threat. So he blocks in this way, he blocks out that way. No, I guess he blocks in this way as well. A little bit of protection against the Blitz. Not a lot, but a bit. You like this? Not a lot. So, look at that, a safe block. Safe block first. Oh, yes, got him. Oh, got him. Injury. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, that's what you get. That's what you get when you play an armor seven bash team. Right, three D this motherfucker. Oh. Dirty Dingo just gets a push. Three dice from him. No. Oh. Up men's. At least for a at least for my turn I'm up men's. Holy shit. He goes here to stop. Any frenzy shenanigans. I guess he wants to go here to protect him from getting frenzied by somebody. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Would, would be nice, wouldn't it? Do I go for the pickup of the Blitz? Obviously, I go for the Blitz. Blitz is just more important, isn't it, Herpy? Get more, Kaz. Should have put him in here. I've got to move left. Oh, thank God. Oh God. Sexual chocolate. Glorious. Ah, oh, pretty happy. Pretty happy. That's what you get. Ah. Oh. Love VIP Scouty. Kazna death. <laughs> Children watching. There shouldn't be. <laughs> Sorry, fish for fat. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Hours later, the enthusiasm will run dry. That's true. But, God, it's so good when someone's got an armor seven bash team and you make three armor breaks, including two cars. The world is as it should be for at least one turn. At least one turn, things went right. <laughs> oh god. I'll watch that later. Oh. oh baby, get banged on. <laughs> yeah, level up too, yeah, I think. Nah, so there was a bit of a frenzy trap, but he he um he uh he played around it by getting two guys in front. Only a stun. Giving up his guy to giving up a block to his Yeti with 90 blow. Oh, he's going in straight for the foul. Foul the stun player. <laughs> That's a good idea, buddy. Oh, he gets a KO. All right, it was a good idea, buddy. Well done. Well done, you fucking idiot. Oh, well, it's back to normal now then, eh? Back to normal. Moronic foul. <laughs> Absolutely fucking moronic foul. Gets the stun. No. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. He can't protect his Yeti from getting too DD. Well, unless I, you get, I get a both down. Fucking foul in armor nine. What a, after he's lost two players as well, what an absolute fucking lunatic. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go. Just need a push here. Got him. Let's just put him there. Get him over here. Come on, kill him. Please die. Please. No, Maybe I should foul him like an idiot here. Maybe I should go for the idiotic foul, see what happens. What's this fucking... 
Oh yeah, one turn two. To be fair though, they do. They do feel like an exploit. It is. It is very. Um... <laughs> I think it is a bit silly pushing your players forward and stuff. It is, it is a bit silly, isn't it? It is. It is a bit silly. Um, nine double one. Nine. <laughs> I can't believe. It. I wish he'd rolled a double one on the foul. Yeah, exactly. Standard Dode response. They do have a significantly higher win rate than other races. They really do. I think chain prices are good, but it does feel like an exploit. Of course it does. It does. I mean, it's... Yeah, of course. Of course, Johnny. There you go. You summed it up <laughs> quite quite simply. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit... That is simply not true. Fucking dope. Does not support oh, he's going for a 3D. He's smart enough to get 3Ds. Not smart enough to know when to foul, but there you go. G gets reward. I can't but That makes me salty. That you, Like, bad play getting reward makes me salty. But, um, yeah, exactly. It wasn't Id idiotic from Dodd, isn't it? But it's, it's just standard from him. Just absolutely standard from him. You probably lose reroll dot or win on penalty kicks somehow. Yeah, it happened for one turn, didn't it? <laughs> one turn, I was happy. Giving up loads of blocks. Let's let's see if it fucks him. Oh, good, he blitzed the wrong one. <laughs> no. Oh, try. He set up for a three D and then didn't hit it. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I like. I'm not being nasty. Okay, well, that sounds a little bit nasty. I'm not. I'll. I'll qualify it because he moved the guard in here and this guy. So this would be five, six, seven, right? It'd be a three dice into a two dice, and then he's just he just blitzes the wrong fucking guy. Why? Nobody knows. Nobody fucking knows. Right, you go there, so I can get a two D on this lad. Get the pal. Now he can 2D this lad. <laughs> You're welcome, Carl. <laughs> Sorry, Crumsley. Right, this this lad will 2 dice this lad. Oh, Shadow, only a push. Nobody with block apart from the carrier left to blitz. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five. Six. No, three, four, five. Hit him. He could go out and assist, though. Yeah. So. Let's do the fash-like thing of safe moves first. Even though it's a bit shit, it does expose this this beast man to the blitz. But um, safe moves first and all that. Means I get to um, isolate his guard at least a little bit, don't I, by doing it that way rather than running back to assist here. I'd really like to run away from the Yeti next turn, wouldn't I? So that wasn't maybe there wasn't the smartest play to go back over, but I can move up far away next turn. <sighs> <laughs> really? Excellent. <laughs> oh, Kobe. <laughs> Pedro Jack. Oh, man. Get Hail Mary win game. That's what you do in your games. <laughs> okay. I don't, know, I don't know about that, but it's certainly good to just get a claw palm and kill everybody. That's that's the best way to win for Chaos, isn't it? This isn't piss, by the way. I'll have to keep reiterating. I should put this in a... I'll put it in my mug night in the future. Fucking hell, that was so funny. I'm like, oh, he's done well there. He's got himself a three dice blitz. No, I just hit a random instead. Fucking hell. 
It's going to be pretty tricky to run away from this Yeti properly. It's an um, energy drink. It's energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's crazy, Pedro. Right, I could surf him, but it would leave me um, set up against a bit of a counter surf. Obviously, I want to blitz this guy as well. I want to blitz this? Wow, yeah, it's hard to. Uh, I guess he would be how I would advance then. Right, so just do the blitz first. Because it's the blitz. And because I've done four, I'm just gonna follow to to bases um play. Oh there you go, KO. Good. Good. Standard. Right, so there you go. There's the base and the ball worked out for him. Right. Thing is going that way fucking puts us near the um near the Yeti. One, two, three. Could put a guy this guy here. This guy here. Then block him and then bust out one, two, three, four, five, six. Him in front. Him base though. If I let the ma ma Yeti blitz me, I guess it's not even that bad. TBH. I really would love to make a 2D there. 2D is guard. But I guess another mountain. I don't even need to do that. I just just let him crash into me next turn. Still got four turns. But he didn't die. Double one. <laughs> um, I don't know, I could watch it. But um, five versus 11. Oh, only for the last three turns. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, but now he's got to swarm in, hasn't he? And now he's... He's just giving up all the more blocks this turn. But, I mean, he's probably going to blitz with him, isn't he? 2D into a 2D, unfortunately. I really should have tried to run away from him. It is a GFI, though, if he pushes. Oh, he won. <laughs> Dear God. So now I get a much better turn this turn. By showing restraint that turn, I get a much better much better turn this turn as he's all mansed up, ready to get banged on. I could blitz him now. Could blitz and get her through a little bit of a cage. Yeah, go on. This is a bit risky now, though, isn't it? God, I still well, I've still got plenty of time. 
It's not the end of the world. I guess I've got the reserve, so I don't have to apple it badly hurt now. So that's something good. <laughs> Why is it crumbsly? Oh, well, yeah, okay, it kind of is, yeah, because if, if you lose the toss, it's shit, but it's the way it's always been, isn't it? So, Kind of, I guess, Big Bad Wolf. People have said it. 1 in 81, not much you can do against a 1 in 81, is there? Now he's got a chance. Well, it's a half dice at the ball. Now he gets to surf me if he wants. Come, I had to bite, yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Actually, up man. I mean, he's got two reserves, so he's got the potential to be 11, and I've got the potential to be a 10 um, for the second half. So it's not that good. I should really think about moving the ball and protecting it, shouldn't I? Rather than just trying to punch people. But still, got 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 plenty of time. Kind of. Kind of plenty of time. Opens up with a 1D. I knew he'd do it as well. Dirty fucking dingo. Might do a 1D here as well. Just so we can make this blitz. You know what, I'll make a two dice and suffer a one in 81 chance. And he makes two one dice blocks, gets two knockdowns. Dirty dingo. Dirty fucking dingo. Exactly, I don't know, you can't... It's hard, isn't it? It was hard to not make that block. Very hard. I did think about just sticking the rookie on him. Phew, thanks God. Is he going to make the GFI to base the carrier? <laughs> like people love to do. <laughs> yeah, that's true, VIP Squirrel, dude. <laughs> right, let's just make blocks. Two dice blocks. Like a madman. I get to move forward here, don't I? Maybe even outrun the um, Yeti a little bit. Oh, shit. <sighs> well, that fucks everything up a bit, doesn't it? Let's go r over here a little bit, I guess. There's nothing else. There's nothing else for it. Over the halfway line, though, so... And he's just going to get banged on, unfortunately. Shy's there. Really need that knockdown to a... Uh, so I could have blitzed him and then gone up the middle. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, God, what's this? Foot master. <laughs> oh, he roars anyway. Good. Oh, that was his blitz! What a madman! Oh, he's gonna mark the cage again. He wasted a lot now. Oh, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, if you make a sound bite of it, I'll put it on. I'll put it on as an exclamation point. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? People have to have to mark the ball carrier. It's almost as if like Cano said it on one of his videos. I imagine that's what happens. That's what's happened. I imagine Cano said it on one of his videos. You should base the ball carrier to break a cage or something like that, and then people are like, "Sounds good. That's what I'll do." It's, like, it's kind of annoying that they've got the jump up though. This isn't. This is a bit tricky now. Oh yeah. And this this was a much better one dice to do for him, obviously, because it gets, leads into a two dice if he gets the ball. And to be honest, what the fuck else is he gonna do? So I don't mind him taking these one Ds. Like I would, I would take these one Ds. Oh my god. <laughs> Combo paper cuts on the fucking wall. This is tough though to get me free. Block there, block there, block there. Blitz here maybe. Just to get people up. Yeah, once he'd made it a blitz, yeah exactly, he had to reroll it, yeah, that's true. But he shouldn't have made it a blitz, should he? He should not have made it a blitz. When you know you can lose it on a one, I mean it didn't really achieve a lot, did it? Or, or anything. Alright, good. So first things first. Move the ball up six. And... Get the absolute bare minimum of protection out. This seems pretty safe, I think. He could dodge and blitz here. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. To do a blitz with him. And then a dodge. And then blitz a different player depending on whether it writes. Because cause I haven't needed the reroll. I'll make the two GFIs to blitz this guy. <laughs> Good enough. And then I've still got a reroll, haven't I? So I might as well make this 1D just because he's a Norse man. And it's a 3 plus. It's just like dodging, isn't it? Nah, Sean, if I ever agree to block, I will double score. Yeah, that's pretty good VIP scroll dude, I think. Oh shit. <laughs> oh boo. Bad fouls do work. Well, they don't always work, that's why they're bad. But it's annoying when they work, isn't it? Oh shit. That was too funny when you failed another two dice split with a yeti. Madman, absolute madman. Oh man, I really wanted him to just get the boat down and like have his player die. That's really what I wanted then. I guess he's not even trying to stop the touchdown, which is fair enough, it's not easy, is it? It's fifty percent and knock me over. It's not. It's not even on my guys. I just don't like it. Doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> just because it's not unlikely doesn't mean I have to like it. Maybe I shouldn't have stood him up to get the one dice. Maybe I should have just left him down and 
dodged away with that. I couldn't dodge away with them, I think, though, because they were there and the Yeti was there, so I couldn't dodge away. Right. Three dice. Can I three dice? No. I can two dice the Yeti, though. I don't even have that many players. It's crazy, isn't it? One in 36. I've got to go for that. I'm crazy if you don't make this block, I think. Cray cray. Like, I guess I could have mighty blowed the, um... Well, I could have gone for it with mighty blow, but it would have still failed. But I didn't want to risk the one in 81. <laughs> you fucking nerds. <laughs> well done, scrolled it. <laughs> Exactly, Shawnee. Yeah, the Yeti does. The Yeti does seem shit, but then you just need him because otherwise, what do you do against orcs and stuff? It feels like the lights. Oh, that the front lights on. No, he's knockouts are back. Outbashed after all that. Can you believe it? Literally outbashed. <laughs> ten players, maybe less than ten, because he's got his LOS blocks to me. After the best first turn of my life. No, I guess the I guess the dead tomb guardian was better. Um, actually outbashed overall in the half. Crazy. It's great to have no block warriors, isn't it? It is actually pretty good. No, I saved this as fucking save setup number three. He really needs to come back. Can he one turn? Probably not, but I guess I need to think about Riot. Yeah, it's true, Sean. Touchdowns. Yeah, orcs and stuff just kill the Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah, piling on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, he had a babe, didn't he? Only rolled two threes. Holy shit. I wouldn't say use it sparingly, to be honest, Shoney. I would just use it. Just blitz with him and pile on to keep him safe. I wouldn't even say use it sparingly. I would say throw your rerolls on him. Uh, reroll his greed, re greed reroll his blocks. And pile on. Um, well, I don't know about Eric Behimer. It's It seems remarkably lacking in power for 1380 TV. Just some block guys, but um, it is nice to have as a liability. Oh wow, his guy got hit by a rock. Stunned. Stunned. Yeah, I'd greed reroll loner. Yeah, I would, Sean. Got to kill everyone. If you if you Norse against orcs, <laughs> what do you even do? It blows my mind out. That's got to be like the worst matchup in the world. And you know what? My fucking mate beat me twice. We had a league, and he was Norse and I was Orcs. And he beat me twice in the league. Yeah, he did. He beat me twice. It's fucking insane. I don't even know how he did it. It was crazy dice. Just crazy fucking dice. <laughs> it looks like a yeah, monkey G. He fought, he hasn't got a he blocked the uh, frenzy there. Oof! Just survived this time. His yeti's really bad. He's had he had some bad luck with his yeti. I'll give him that. 
Ah, brilliant. Outbashed. Outbashed by fucking Norse. I got, I got to apple it. Should have appled the fucking badly hurt. Knew I should have appled that badly hurt. No ducky. No, no, I didn't say low TV chaos. I said Norse versus Orcs is the worst matchup. Orcs the worst matchup for Norse, aren't they? I think the worst matchup for low TV chaos has got to be... It's got to be Lizard Man, hasn't it? It's got to be Lizard Man, but Skaven are horrible. Elves in general are bad. Oh my god. It started off so good, and then he just diced the fuck out of me. All matchups are, are bad when this happens. I knew I shouldn't be there. You go anyway, so you're all right. Happy, happy for 40 minutes. Oh my god. This fucking warrior better come back. Oh fuck. Yeah, I used my apple on a fucking miss next game because I thought I'd just need the men's. Now he'll foul every turn, won't get sent off. And murder the team. Sounds Sounds amazing, man. Yeah, not bad it. VIP Adonta Kellis, two cars on the LOS, and then he gets another one. That's the thing, that's why I don't mind kicking against Chaos at high TV, like in a chaos in a claw pop mirror match. I often don't mind kicking, not even trying to stop them scoring. And then getting the double LOS hits, because the double LOS hits from Clawpon can be pretty fucking devastating. But of course, in this case, it was just with fucking random rookie Norse. Just make cheeky two cars and turn, turn eight. Disgusting. Disgusting, now it's nine versus eleven instead of eleven versus eleven. So I'm pretty much, pretty much fucked, I think. Get banged on. Shit's crazy in it, Will King. Two players in the first turn. It's like, this is actually going to go. This is actually going to go as it should do against Armour 7 for once. Nah. Nah. I mean, to be fair, look, he's got 75% knockdowns on the unskilled ones, which which they all were. So he is 75% of knockdown, while I'm only 55% of knockdown. But, um... It's still annoying, isn't it? Why did he make that dodge? Maybe he's just doing maybe he's doing like a brainless Norse guide or something, I don't know. I really just want to blitz with block. I can't man's him because I've got no fucking players. The fuck did you do that for? Was it a misclick? Give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was a. Eh? 
Can't even get three dice. Can't even get two dice with um, one, two, three, four, five. We'd have to GFI. And then blitz with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could just blitz him. Don't know what I can do here. I just, like, I don't know what to do. I just want to hit his Yeti, you know. I guess I don't. Oh, quick, quick, too quickly. Oh, my fucking God. Cyanide in your shit UI. Thank you, Cyanide, for being shit. screen it up <sighs> now I've really got to remember to take a bit of time before making choosing the pushed back square <laughs> fucking hell it's so annoying Fucking annoying. Oh, pushes him into there. Yeah, I should have gone one further back. That was actually good play by him, wasn't it? Actually good play. Yeah, Pedro, yeah, typical, innit? Alright, he pushed... I thought he was clever pushing him into three dice from the Yeti, but then just didn't. So forget that. Gotta hit his canoring threat. I'd really like to put a threat out for the ball, but I just couldn't. Couldn't, could I? I just couldn't. I just can't base anybody. Because I've got no fucking players. Maybe he could base him. But nah, I don't want him. I can re-roll this hit, I guess. Yeah, at least I survived the second LOS, yeah. Really annoying the Apple feeling though, wasn't it? 
because at least now if he goes back to deal with his token pressure I can maybe pressure somewhere else <sighs> I can't have a nervous breakdown oh man see energy drink not piss energy drink <laughs> Now he wants the energy. Now he wants the um, Yeti Blitz. So bang down the Yeti. Bang down the other Yeti. Blitz the Ulf even. No, bang down that Ulf. Bang down that Ulf. And then somehow Blitz the Yeti. Oh, yeah, I've got to. Because he's fucking clawing. He's too good. He's too good. It's stupid. He's strength five. He's too good. Really do with two more players here. Yeah, I was just calling the Ulfs Yetis. I was just calling the Ulfs Yetis. Blitz the Yeti. Natural really. Oh, that makes things hmm, irrelevant, probably. At least he's taken a lot of his stuff away from us online. Makes these blocks easier. Here, but then on because mm, let's see what happens with this blitz, blitz first. Blitz. Nothing. Like I really don't want him to score, do I? But if I, I can't really abandon him up here. <laughs> oh come on! It was too much of a loss, I think, to skull it. After after committing nothing. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I knew what the fuck. Hope you have lots of luck. <laughs> Hello, Recreo. I did on the first turn. On the first turn, I did this, but he had 13 players. And then he did this. So I'm actually down. I've got nine, he's got 11. I guess he's not gonna. He's, he's gonna be able to stall it out now, probably. Probably he's a 1 1 draw here. Looking at a draw just thanks to his two cars in turn eight. Not much I could do, unfortunately. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've let him. I've let him screen all this, haven't I? So we might do like some kind of a passing play now. That was the thing. I didn't want to. Didn't want to go up there to assist that. I wanted to just keep him here, keep the center a little bit. But I guess I can bang him down and have a guy on the other side. That's what I was thinking as well. I thought if I do that, I do have the chance of banging him down and going to the other side. Fucking hell. Well, we'll see, Jump Toast. Maybe, maybe. It should, yeah, it should be a draw now, yeah. But then I guess he's still got. Look, he's going to have to do a passing play now, isn't he? Or is he? Like, I don't know what his real plan is here. Or a handoff to this guy or something. Some kind of potato play, isn't it? And over the dirty player. Come on. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great to fail this. Fuck. No re rolls. I'll just go I'll just go for two GFIs, there's no reruns. Seems good. Right, so I can blitz. Make the pick up with him. Bang him down. Tag people. Right. Bang him down first. Bang. Potato <laughs> punished. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Right. So he has to go here, doesn't he, to um to do that. Oh, shit. You want to base him? I guess I'll have to. Oh no, he's based. Right, I have to blitz with a mighty blow guy then. Shit. Should have based him first, maybe. <laughs> nah, Potato's not punished yet, unfortunately. Can't make the GFIs now. Make the dodge with him for the pickup, I guess, or just the um, base. <sighs> Maybe I should have made that block. Maybe Jelly Hill, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, Valene. Double GFI without a reroll was pretty, was pretty wild, wasn't it? I knew it was going to be a one in nine when I made the blitz with a with the, with the other guy, but what could I do? Had to try. <laughs> at least some guys are based, and he is down to ten now, at least. So only one man down. 
Well, one man disadvantage. Three replies on on leveling up the strength five sentinel. Wow, both down. Unbelievable, Jeff. Block saved me. So I guess block there, even though it's the one in nine. Then blitz him, pick up. Get another guy on his another guy's arm is broken. Kind of irrelevant blitz, but at least it got him to bang this guy down and freed up his Yeti for the next turn as well. So it wasn't it wasn't that bad. <laughs> armor 9 or armor <laughs> or armor 7 eh this can just, just has to be a push to get this blitz on and then how the fuck do I protect it afterwards Just put him one dice there, one dice there, or something. Okay, so he's based by him. No, he's not based by anybody. He's have to clear the tackle zone. Last re-roll. It's arguable that I can even pick re-roll the pickup, isn't it? So I'm just gonna get two dice down anyway. <sighs> so I guess it's gotta accept the failed pickup. Mm -hmm. And then block this guy down with him. can get the guard assist obviously he can obviously get the guard assist or you can just double GFI the blitz with a yeti is it worth making this dodge away it would free up an extra player of his which would then make this an easy 2d so I guess it isn't worth doing it Gets his, he gets his guard in anyway, but I mean, he could have failed this blow. Maybe I should have made the dodge. And it wouldn't have mattered too much, though, because it, it would have still got the guard in, wouldn't he? So, yeah. But I guess it would be harder for the, this guy to blitz. You'd have had to get the guard in. Whereas now he can get two dice, whereas then he could have only got one dice. Cause strength. Yeah, so actually... I should, have, I should have made that dodge. I should have made that dodge. Fuck. Oh man, moving with his Yeti, what a bastard. Yeah, I guess I should have, uh, I guess I should have tried for that dodge then. Because if I make it, 
You can only get one dice, can't you? But if I fail it, he's got a recovery as well. Uh, I don't know. It's not that. It's not that cut and dried, is it? Two times out of three, it would have been the right play. <laughs> That's for fucking sure. Ah, oh, push. He's got to use. He's got two rerolls. So. Oh wow! Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Wow. Pretty epic. Pretty epic to not get knocked down then. <laughs> oh dear. It's still tough though, isn't it? It's still tough how to escape. I think he has to block him and then blitz him to escape. So how does he block him? Oh, there's a guy here. That's handy. Push is guaranteed here, isn't it? It's a huge stun. Huge. Now with no guard. Um This is pretty good, isn't it? I've got to use a rear on this GF5 fails. Oh god. On a 3 plus, he gets him away but doesn't do anything. Right, best he can get to 1D now, isn't it? From like this guy dodging. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome, Shawnee. <laughs> that's awesome. It was a pretty great. It was a pretty great picture that that somebody made there. No, no knockdown. It's pretty good having blocks sometimes, isn't it? Oh, I can't see because he's horse and loop pack. God, he's always horse loop pack flash binder. Sad, sad news from Flash. He's got it. It's hard from the from the bean range because he's got to knock him, knock him, and then one, two, three, four, five, and cancel. I guess he can cancel, but um, it's not easy for him to get the Yeti on. But well, basically, he'd have to dodge anyway, wouldn't he? He's double marked. Six one zero at the moment. Oogle R. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true, Jillio. <laughs> that's true. It's not that sad, Sean. It's not that sad. It's, like, obviously a little bit sad taking three cars, but, you know. Got the ball at least. And only two turns left. Only one turn for him after this. So at the moment, his only scoring threat is well, technically, this guy could get chain pushed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy could get chain pushed, and him or his only scoring threats at the moment. So that's something good. No, it's only Miss Nest Games the worst at the moment. VIP, uh, Dante Kalis. Double, the double skulls, you got to re roll it. Gotta re-roll it. That's his blitz gone, so he's definitely in hitting the ball. Ah, yes, moving there. That's a valuable 
valuable square to cover. I can see why he did that. Also not in range. Move out of scoring. The one guy he could have got into scoring range. Move out to make a two dice block. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the fuck was that? The actual fuck was that? <laughs> the one guy! I just gotta blitz this all for one and then don't I? He can't be chained. He could be chained at the moment. So he's the only scoring threat. So I guess I'll blitz him and re-roll it. If it's not a, if it's not a knockdown. And then foul him. GG then. I haven't done very much here to stop the touchdown, have I? Oh, his guard's in play. Oh, he can blitz out, he can block out. He can block himself in the end zone and receive the pass. Oh, God. Yeah, I should have just hid in a corner. I should have just hidden the corner. You're right, Jellio. I should have hidden the corner. I don't know why I moved here. Why did I move here? Don't know. Don't know. I should have just run away. Oh, it was to hit the guy. It was to hit the one, the the guy who could be chained in the scoring range. That was it. Oh God, the Yeti just goes for the blitz. Not greed blocks the adult. It was blocking the guy who could get chained. He could use this warrior to chain him forward. Um, which, to be fair, was an easier score than dodging with him or passing to him. Horrible, isn't it, Scout? It doesn't happen, though. It doesn't happen according to old Dode, so don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, it doesn't. It doesn't happen. We have the data. D on the ball. He hasn't got a reroll, has he? Into a one. Excellent. Whew, thank God. Thank God. Thank God for that. Whew. That was way too close. Good morning, Thomas Griff. Not too bad. Not too bad now. I th it, was, it was going badly. It was going badly. <laughs> he had 13 players, so I wasn't even players up after this. They were in the first time. So he started the second half with a full 11. I started with 9. But, um... Randomly, got a chance to score here. Yeah. yeah, of course he's making fun of me. Yeah, he did get this block to get in the end zone, didn't he? To receive a pass, which was probably a bit bad.
Quit him to cancel that assist and block him. That seems worth it. I was thinking I could have um, moved him up to take the squares away in case it's a push, but just hope I get the knockdown. Yeah. Right, now, I know it's better odds probably to make the two GFIs, but I'm not going to do it because obviously I can't die making a pass. No, I should. <laughs> Why would I surf the ult? It doesn't achieve anything. Don't get star player points for surfs. Okay, so there's no point, is there? Turn 16. The only thing is to get star player points. I'm not one of these people who will surf for no reason. Well, I've done it before sometimes, but usually I'm not one of these people who will just surf for no reason. 12 AV breaks each. Each. Despite him having all armor 7. Fucking... Fucking... No, say. Two missed next games. Back to the usual, having having journeyman. Um, might go wrestle on him. And I guess claw on this guy. Yeah, I, I gotta go claw. I gotta be brainless, haven't I? I gotta be brainless with a claw. So I've got one. The I've got the tackle killer. The uh, claw killer. So this can be the wrestle. Wrestle fagot. If I can find it. Wrestle. Try not to fire him by accident. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Pedro. And Rootcracker. No, not mobile. Go for the wrestle. Gives us something against elves, doesn't it? Pretty sure these are just missed next games. Yeah, just missed next game. So ten, got a journeyman, got a block wrestle. So yeah, he'll be he'll be the tackle killer. He'll be the core killer. He's the carrier. So it's it's all pretty nice, isn't it? The rule of seven there, and then this guy. Um, so the record is seven one zero now. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.